Hey everyone, welcome back to GTA Online. Today we'll talk about the Diamond Casino Haste prep mission, Dog and Shipments. I think this is one of the hardest to do alone. All of the others are pretty easy to do. So I figured I'd give you my tips and tricks on how I do it. We've been farming it for quite a while. I'm in the Casino Haste. This is what you need for a big con setup, nothing else. If you're guys interested, I can make a video about our best method to farm the big con and the uh, stealthy approach. Uh, but these are the ones you need. You can just take a screenshot. This is the best method, believe me. If you guys want, we can make a video on it. Uh, but today we're going to talk about dug and shipments and how I do that alone. Because I usually set up my stuff alone, my friend says, sets up his stuff, and then we come online, do them both, and rinse and repeat for infinite money. Not like we have infinite money, but you know what I mean. So let's start it up. As you probably guessed, I'm doing it with, with a Mark II oppressor. You can do it with uh, a Hydra II. Uh, I don't think you can do it with a Mark I oppressor, but you can give it a try, but I really don't think it's gonna work. Or maybe you can do it with a Buzzard. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just checking out where should I need to go. I see that only one is at the bottom, so I quickly go there and get it done. Uh, I Throughout the video, you'll notice that I always open up my my map to plot route, plot my route and change it according to what I see. Uh, so yeah, I'll just get to the first one and shoot it down. Okay, here we are, I got it logged on, I shoot one and I move on. Uh, every second matters if you want to do this alone. And lesser always talks over you. If you do this as many times as I did, <laughs> it becomes so boring. So yeah, now I've just got my next target. I go there, shoot it down. Okay, here we are with the next one. I got a lock on it, one rocket, and I keep going. I'll try to not use more rockets than one, because sometimes... Okay, I've just shoot one in the air, but that doesn't matter. Because sometimes you... It, it gets a bit tricky when you have two helicopters and they're attacking you and they don't, don't, don't want to get hit. Okay, it looks like I missed that one, as you can see. So you have to make sure, of course, to get them. Nice. Uh, so yeah, I'll just keep moving. I'll probably open up my map to see what's up. Yeah. I'll just plot in my loot. I decided to go in a zigzag through the map to the top but I'll probably change this later on because the targets move so you always have to keep opening your map see what's what see where's what where's what and uh, adjust your your route to that uh, another thing you can see this is uh, more of a tip for an oppressor than anything else is that I try to touch the ground with the oppressor as much as I can and that's because the oppressor goes faster on the ground than it does on the air so now we've got two helicopters this can be tricky I suggest you don't go near them and then you're fine you'll be fine because I'm pretty sure later on you'll see that if you go close they start to chase you they start to attack you and then that's that can be problematic I'm pretty sure you've you're familiar with that uh, cops do the same and it's pretty difficult to hit them from up close with a with, a, with an oppressor or even a deluxe or, or anything like that. So now we're going to the, to the one on the left side of the map on the water. What you need to look out for is there's usually one, uh, one shipment that's going away from the city in the water. And uh, that can, that can mess, mess up with your, with, your, uh, with your time and routes. This isn't the one but because uh, this is pretty close to the uh, to the shore but then I think the next one will be that I'm not really sure we'll see about it but I just lock on it I shoot two to be sure even though I told you not to do that and and then we'll move on to the next ones I plot the route and I'll just go
And there we are. Now, as you can see, we've got almost... Okay, Lester. We've got almost five and a half minutes and only four shipments remaining. So I was pretty self-confident about doing this until I've realized that I've came a bit late to the shipment that's going out of the city. So now you see why that's bad, because look how much time I'm going to waste here. So yeah, here we are, but as you can see, that was a pretty far ride out in the ocean. You barely can see the shores, and now I have to get back, so... That wasn't really lucky. This can happen. Of course, it's much better if it's on the uh, south side of the map and you start there and you don't give it time to go so far out of the shore, but yeah, it can happen. Another tip I have for you is if you can do this with a friend, which is of course the easiest way to prep these missions with two, if he's good, if your friend is good or she, uh, is before you start this mission, make your friend go to the very top of the map, map to Sandy Shores. And then just tell him to wait there, so you can go from the south of the map upwards, or to the north, and then he can come south, come down the map from the north. And you can do this in like 4 minutes, I think, or maximum 5, but usually we, we do this in around 3 to 4 minutes if, if we do it uh, as a duo. So yeah, that's just a, a handy little tip. So as you can see now, we have three shipments and three minutes. Two shipments and three minutes. Um, I think it's okay in my mind. I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I can do this even though they're pretty far away. And I'm pretty bad at driving the depressor right now. I don't know what the hell happened, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident. And, and of course, in the end, it's done. So <laughs> that's why I'm posting it, because I've managed to do it. But sometimes you fail it. It happened to me that I had one left or two. Uh, but if you're doing the big con and you do it the right way, it doesn't matter at all. You don't get attacked, they don't uh, see you, I mean they see you but they don't attack you because you're in the uh, good disguises. Uh, really if you wanna wanna have a, a tutorial about that, how I do it and how we do it, I'll, I'll definitely make one so just let me know in the comments. But the the, the important thing is that if you're doing the sneaky one, the sneaky approach, you really need to do this tug and shipments the best way you can, because otherwise you they'll, they'll have their helmets. So, oh yeah, if you didn't know, but I guess you know, tug and shipments is the one that uh, reduces the enemy's armor. Okay, that's it. So now, as you can see, there were two helicopters, but I only shoot one. I only shot one. The reason for that, of course, is that I'm running out of time and I want to make sure I get them. So I. I had the luck of uh, locking on the one that had the shipment and not the one who just follows follows the other one. So I could just shoot it down and then I'll, yeah, I, I just keep moving. Uh, I have one and a half minute left. As you can see, I'm, I'm getting a, a bit stressful, so I can't, can't really drive at all. But uh, now I know that I'm gonna get there and it's gonna be cool, so yeah. Okay, here we are, two helicopters, still got a minute left if anything goes wrong, and as you can see, it does go wrong, because I've logged on it, but I was too close, and the helicopter had the chance to just evade it. But thankfully I did it, and now the haze prep is complete, I almost had a minute left, so this just shows you that it's it's actually pretty, pretty possible to do it. Uh, now it doesn't lock on to them because uh, <laughs> we're not in the mission anymore, but, but that doesn't, doesn't really matter. And I still can drive. So yeah, basically that's it. We're done with it. We're good. Uh, this is how you do it solo. These are my tips and tricks. Basically do it. <laughs> have Mark II oppressor. Uh, make it good. Have it... Uh, maxed out of course have every performance upgrades. Uh, I'm pretty sure this would be easier with a Hydra uh, Unfortunately, I don't have a Hydra yet because it's pretty expensive. So I'll just stick to my oppressor mark 2 for these types of uh, Haste preparations that I do alone, but I'm pretty sure you can do it with a heist uh, with, a, with a Hydra maybe with a buzzard 
I'm not really sure about that, but uh, you can give it a go and let me know what you think. Anyways, I hope this was a bit helpful. If it was, just leave a like, maybe, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.